Dan Dibeck. I'm Vice President of the Mount Marine Aquarium. Well, this is um, our third um, temporary exhibit that we have, limited engagement exhibit. It runs from uh, February 1st through September 14th. It's called Survivors. And we've got really a diverse collection of animals uh, and for the first time, frogs, amphibians, uh, not just fish this time, um, from all over the world, and they share um, something in common, and that is their defensive mechanisms. Um, some of them are poisonous, some of them are venomous, um, both to, to humans and to possible predators, and they've all been able to use these adaptations to survive in very extreme conditions in the wild. It's open every day through September 14th, and it's free with your normal admission, or if you're a member, it's free of course. And so it's taken our staff uh, about, about a year to put all this together, a lot of planning involved, and, and working with uh, sister institutions in Australia um, to bring some of these species up. I've been with Moat for eight years now, and um, basically I uh, got into the field just by happenstance. It started out as a volunteer at another aquarium, and it uh, snowballed into a career. I've been here for seven years, it's April. Um, right now I'm specializing in cuttlefish breeding. Being able to educate the public about what we do every day, the, uh, the care and the passion that we put into our animals and our exhibits, is, uh, it's, a, it's an extreme amount of time and energy. And uh, to, see, to see people enjoy it and to learn from it, it, it means a lot to us. I love seeing smiles on faces, people saying, wow, what is that? And that's, that's, that's our job, is to create conversation, create questions, and hopefully they'll answer for them as well. I, I hope they walk away amazed. I hope they walk away uh, with a, a wealth of knowledge also because we've, uh, we've got a collection of animal ears from basically around the world, all reaches of the world. We've been able to uh, take some animals uh, to bring in here and uh, a lot of them actually we raised here at home too, which is uh, pretty fantastic I think.